Welcome back to another episode of Small Girl Big Talk. Today, I want to talk about something that is somewhat outdated on the social media scene. But I also think that it is the best way to kind of explain to you what does embodying your dream self mean like it's a very important concept when it comes to manifestation and that is the idea of main character energy this is an idea that was all over reels and tiktok and every girl who are into self-help and personal growth and self-love are always talking about embodying your main character energy and I would say that that is one of a good like example that really helped me to hone in the idea of embodying my dream self so I really want to take a day of my life to explain to you what does that really mean and how I'm going to do that is I will actually walk you through a very regular day in my life like I actually chose my agenda from the past Tuesday which was a very regular weekday where I actually just wake up go into the office and then come home and then settle for the day and I want to show you how by understanding this main character that you want to be in your life, you can actually improve your life and feel better about your life. Even though right now you might be at a place where you are not the most happy about. Like you have this ideal life that you see yourself to have, but you are not there yet. But even that said, right, you can still embody your dream self and still get there in the process. Before I get into like the day in my life, I kind of want to start by telling you that you kind of need to be able to define this main character energy for you. Like if your life is to be a movie, right, and if you are the main character in this story, how do you want this main character to be like? Like you should have a good idea of how she dresses up, how she presents herself to other people when she talks to her friends, when she talks to strangers, or how she dresses up, how she actually shows up. Like does she put on makeup? Does she dress up very classily or very fashionista? Or is she more of a minimalist kind of girl? you need to kind of be able to find out about that first. And to do so, you can actually start by going to Pinterest to look out for fashion styles that you really like. Like for me personally, I actually have a Pinterest board on fashion where I pin on clothes that I really like. And eventually as time passes and as I keep looking at the styles, right, because once you start to have an ideal way of you want to dress up, you start to shop like that. And my wardrobe is slowly transitioning into my Pinterest board because I need time to be shopping for these clothes too. And I feel like compared to myself like two years ago, like during the pandemic, my fashion has already changed a lot. So that would be a very good way for you to kind of change the way you present yourself. And one more thing that I've also done is also to kind of like improve my skincare regimen so that I don't need to put on too much makeup because my main character, she is already very confident with how she looks. Like she would put on makeup, but not too much of it. She wants to have that healthy sun tanned glow kind of look. So that's something else that you can also do. So that's like the physical aspect of the main character. But you also kind of need to figure out like what is her personality trait like? Is she someone that is very kind and always very nice to everybody? Is she someone that really dreams big and is very relentless in achieving this dream? Like just think about this main character in your life. Like how do you want her to be? And when you are able to kind of identify how this main character is like, then the next part is to really kind of gel 
this main character energy into your current reality. So I know on the internet, there's also this trend that's saying like the Lulu is the new Salulu, like being delusional is the new solution. I'm not too sure about that because I don't think that being delusional is necessarily good, but it's also not bad. But I think the idea is that if you are able to kind of see yourself as this main character, as this luckiest girl in the world who is always filled with love and gratitude, if you can just see yourself as that person in your current reality, things will start changing for you. So I'm not trying to get you to be delusional, but the idea is to really gel this concept of this main character into your current reality. And when you start practicing this, right, you would start seeing that, yes, actually just by believing that you are that person, a lot in your life can already change. So I think that's what I wanted you to kind of understand about this main character energy. So if you are ready, let's get into a day in my life as the main character. It is 7.30 in the morning and I was supposed to wake up to work out today, but I'm not really feeling it. So I decided that I should just sleep in. I actually snoozed for about maybe 15 minutes before I actually wake up. But I did um, still decide to go for a little meditation on my couch because I like waking up, reminding myself that I am already living my dream life. When I meditate in the morning, I like to just be self-aware of what are my current thoughts and at the end of my meditation I always like to remind myself that I am already filled with love I am so loved by everybody around me and I love them and I am so grateful of this beautiful life that I already have and I always find that when I wrap up my meditation with that good energy, right? I just felt like it helps me to start my day with a very good reminder and on a very good note. So after my meditation, I go on to shower and I started to get ready for work. And on a regular weekday, right? I still love to actually make up and dress up to go into the office. Even if I know that I'm not going to meet any special client and I'm probably just going to stay in the office for the entire day. But I find that when I dress up, right, I do feel like I'm actually embodying this main character a lot more. So when I dress up in the morning, I like to think that my morning makeup routine is kind of like an, an active meditation. Like I love just being so self-aware of applying my eyeshadow and putting on my blush and like just being self-aware of myself. And usually I like to turn on like a upbeat playlist in the background with like pop songs so that my energy feels more lifted. Um, recently, it's a lot of Sabrina Carpenter's like all the really fun, catchy music that makes me feel like I'm the main character. And in fact, for the sake of this episode, right, I'm actually putting together a lucky girl playlist for you. So be sure to check it out on the show notes. And in fact, you can also like kind of add it to queue for right after this podcast if you are listening on Spotify. And at 8.45 a.m., I kissed Kevin goodbye and we went separate ways to go to our office. And as I am driving to my office today, I was kind of craving like a hot, soupy chicken noodle. <laughs> Um, and I texted my colleagues like any of you feel like having that as well because I'm going to turn to the shop and actually buy it for lunch today. And because this specific shop, it sells the best gai si ho fan and that is like a shredded chicken noodle soup and all of us have not had it in a while. So all of my team members are like, okay, get me one, get me one. And so I turned to the shop and got like nine packs of noodles so that all of us could have a yummy lunch. 
So at this stage, after I gotten the noodles, like it was quite a long wait and it was such a heavy lifting with all the noodles soup, right? I was thinking to myself, like, wow, what a blessing it is to be able to share good food with my colleagues. And the reality did hit a little bit here, like, oh, if only like I feel comfortable enough financially to just buy all of them this meal, it would be even better. But it's okay. I'm still sharing good food. It is okay. I'll still collect money from them. Yes, it is the reality. But that doesn't stop me from putting in the effort to actually turn to the shop and actually get food for them on their behalf so that they didn't need to think about what's for lunch today. So coming into the office, work started. I actually didn't have time to like just chill and make a cup of coffee first because that's my regular routine. But unfortunately, because I forgot that I have a meeting at 10.30. So I kind of had to like rush to prepare for the meeting and do other works and then get into the meeting. And then it's just kind of like a regular day in the office where I was working and there will be the little moments of getting distracted by scrolling on social media and then going back to work and then having lunch with my colleagues and then after lunch, just being a little bit tired. I like to take like a 10 minutes nap. And during this time, I usually like to wake up and just be mindful of where I am and what I'm doing at work and why I am doing it. Um, just a little bit reminder of like the purpose of the work that I'm doing and I remember for this particular day like I just blasted EDM on my earphones as I'm working I like listening to trans music um, as I'm working like it is upbeat enough to keep me like going and going and like wide awake but it's not like sing along kind of thing that it will distract me so that's kind of how I would like to work It is one of these rare days that Kevin is working from home and he actually texted me at 6 o'clock that we are out of coconut cream and he needed it to cook curry chicken because I requested for it. Um, So I had to make a paid stop to the mini mart to kind of get the ingredients to get home. And this is one of the funny days where he actually texted me midway, like, where was the broccoli that we bought? And I was like, huh? What? And (laughs) funny story, I just had to add this in because I thought it was a very cute moment. Um, We bought broccoli from the grocery store the other day and the broccoli actually rolled out of the grocery bag into the bottom of the car seat when we were on the way home. But thank goodness, broccoli was safe. It was still held, like it didn't smell funky or anything like that. So we had our broccoli, but it was just a very random, like, it's just a very random, like, add-on over here in this story. But I thought it's a cute moment where I'm really, really grateful that I have a partner who is willing to cook for me whenever he works from home. And he cooks pretty delicious meal. Um, Even though sometimes the taste could be a little bit too much, like too salty, that's how he likes his food to be like. But I am very, very grateful that I have a partner that cooks for me. So I got home was pressing on my phone for a little bit before I go to shower as Kevin was still making the food. And then we were having dinner because I'm so grateful about it. I took a photo and shared it with my family, sent it to the family group chat. And after the meal, it is my turn to do the dishes. And let me tell you, when I was doing the dishes right, I was getting really frustrated because there were a lot of things in the kitchen that Kevin was supposed to clean up, but he did not. Like the top of the stove was just so greasy and dirty. And like the everything on the kitchen counter was so dusty. And he was like, I kind of assigned him to clean up the week before. And he said he was going to do it, but I didn't think he'd do it. Um, And as I was cleaning up, I was getting frustrated. I was like, you are supposed to do all this thing. Why am I always doing all these things? Like, I'm pretty sure 
you can relate to what I'm saying. Like there will be those little moments in your life where you get caught up with all these thoughts in your head. And I caught myself having these thoughts and I was like, okay, Wendy, Kevin made the meal and he actually did clean up the kitchen last weekend because the floor was just too dirty. And I think he just got too tired and he did not do the rest of it and so I was reminding myself like instead of thinking like why do I have to do this I tell myself that I get to do this yes I get to wipe the stove clean I get to wipe the kitchen counter clean on a weekday even though I am very tired I get to do it because I have a partner that lives with me that is willing to cook for me and is willing to do the work with me And that really kind of ground me back. And I actually felt really proud about myself for being able to identify that I was falling into a pattern. And I pull myself back into having this thought because this is the kind of thought that my main character would have. So after dinner, um, it's just a regular day. I just lie on the couch and just chill and just scroll on my phone. And in the process of it, I'm like, okay, I need to post a content app on social media because my main character is a really good content creator and she is producing more than consuming. So I managed to kind of churn out a content at the moment. And then after slacking for another, like maybe half an hour, I got back to in front of my monitor And it's time to get into work for my personal side hustle. So I think I went on to work for about an hour or an hour and a half. And then it's time for winding down. So my main character, right? She prioritized her sleep. Okay. And in order to get a good quality sleep, I often have this nighttime routine where I would actually just shut down all my devices. Like I just put it aside from me. They are all on a sleep focused mode so that I don't really get notifications anymore. And I actually dim down the lights. Like I just turn on the bedside lamp to kind of set the tone to signal my body that, okay, it is time for rest. And usually this is when I would probably tell Kevin that, hey, It's time to go to bed. Um, Come cuddle me before I go to bed. Because we have very different sleeping routine. Like Kevin is a night owl, so I don't expect him to go to bed with me at the same time. Um, So he would probably just come cuddle with me and we would maybe catch up a little bit more about our life on that day. And I would read. I would have a book that I would read for the night. If I'm too sleepy, I would skip the reading part, but I usually like to just read for a page or two, even if I'm sleepy, uh, because it's already become such a habit. And then on a good night, I would just fall asleep like that. So there you go. Um, I was trying to make it like a present tense thing so that you can experience with me, but I think I kind of just messed up the whole flow for it. But you get the gist of it. Like that is a day in my life on a very regular day. Like, I don't think my life is any more special or different from everyone else. Yes, I do have days like today where I'm attending events and I'm meeting friends for dinner. Or like yesterday, I went to the climbing gym alone after work. But I wanted to show you an example of a very regular day. A day that I think most people have where they just wake up and go to work and come home. But if you notice, this main character of mine, she does not just give up on life because her life is so regular right now. Because this main character, she knows where she wants to be. And she has the personality traits to get there. She has the mindfulness on practicing what she preaches and practicing what she wants to get to where she wants And she shows up the way that she is. So I wanted to kind of have a recap on all the things, like the little, little things that I've done and you can do to help you to embody your main character energy 
to help you to pave your way, to get you start embodying this main character to get closer to your dream life. So number one, you need to know who this main character is. Like how does she look like? How is she as a person? And always remember, whenever you watch a movie, especially like a good rom-com, right? The main character is always the luckiest, most loved and most blessed girl. So start acting as if that is your life because it is your life. You need to count all of these blessings that you have. You need to look around you and look into you and to feel all this love that you already have. And then another thing that you really want to do is also to always have these little windows of mindful practice to help you to ground back into this mindset and this mentality. Like for me personally, it is my morning meditations and my after lunch kind of like mini meditation after my nap as well. Because you need to have these little windows throughout the days to remind you of what you want and who you are and why you are here to just help you to stay focused on the path that you want to have. Thirdly, I want to say that external factors really do help. Like having an upbeat playlist definitely helps to lift your mood up or putting on makeup or dressing up is also ways for you to actually see yourself, see your reflection in the mirror to remind yourself that yes, she is a beautiful girl that shows up for herself. So don't think of all these external factors like makeup and all that to be something that is negative. If you are able to show up and present yourself that way, it really helps you a lot in embodying it. And also external factors like your surrounding. If you look around my current background, right, you can see that in my living room, I have plants, I have my guitar and I have decorations and like aesthetics is important because it helps you to feel that your current life is also really beautiful and you live in a very beautiful space. And I don't really play the guitar as much anymore, um, but I sometimes do pick it up. I like to have it over here because I feel like the guitar reminds me that I am a creative person. Like I want to embody more art in my life. So I put it out in my living room to remind me of just that. And lastly, it's a reminder again that you have to be grateful. Just practice gratitude. Instead of thinking that you have to do this, you have to do that, Think that you get to do this. It is so cliche, it is so cheesy, but it is true, right? We are already really fortunate that we are currently still breathing and living. Even if you have any physical pain, like right now I actually have a foot injury from climbing yesterday, Um, but I'm still so grateful that I overall, I still feel really healthy I can still show up to record a podcast for you and we get to live this life. Isn't it so beautiful? So yes, that's all that I want to share with you today. I hope it gives you an idea on how embodying the main character energy is able to help you to start showing up and embody this dream person that you want to be. That is all that I have for you in today's episode. If you find that this is helpful, please share this into your Instagram stories so that I can help more and more people to achieve their dream lives. And if you love it, please also give it a five-star rating on Spotify or a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you are listening on Apple Podcasts, you can also drop me a beautiful, nice review because it really helps me a lot as a podcaster. I thank you for tuning in all the way to the end and I'll see you in my next episode.